Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends. Welcome to another edition of the Magic of the Gathering Market Watch. We have another big episode for you this week, and it stands to reason a lot of cards are going to be going up in value because last week was a huge holiday shopping week. On top of that, Commander Legends came out not too long ago, so you have a lot of players trying to pick up cards to build decks around some of those new cards. Quickly, before we get into all the details, though, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pre-order Keldheim products there, and if you use that Heroes promo code, you can save some cash. For example, if you want a set booster box of Keldheim, it will come down to $103.50 once you use the code. If you want a collector booster box, it comes down to $216. And remember, shipping is free in the United States for any order over $100, or if your order consists of only singles, and they do have Commander Legends singles up there now, too. As always, whenever you use the promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated, so thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. We're going to begin, as we always do, with standard and your top eight standard legal cards that have lost value this week. Number eight is Elder Gargaroth. This goes down 28 cents to 9.48. This was a huge card last season in standard. Doesn't see nearly as much play right now in the format. Does see a little play in Pioneer. Sometimes you'll find it in Mono Green Planeswalkers, for example. Also sees a tab to play in Modern Sideboards and a little Commander play, too. Number seven is Brazen Borrower. This is from Throne of Eldraine. It goes down 29 cents to 14.39, but the copy from the list is going up in value. You're going to see that in a few moments. When it comes to gameplay, this sees a lot of playing standard, Demir Rogue, sometimes Tumor Ramp, and more. Also sees Pioneer, Modern, and Legacy play. Plus, it's a very popular commander card. You'll find this in Anawan the Rune Thief builds, and it is seeing increased play now in new builds like Nimrasuna's Trickster and more. Number six is Scourge of the Skyclaves. It goes down 34 cents to 1026. Doesn't really see much standard play, but this has made a big impact in the modern format in Death Shadow builds. And Commander does combo with Archfiend of Despair, and it does see a little play in the Commander format alongside that card. Number five is Scavenging Ooze. The one from Commander Anthology Volume 2 is normalizing down this week. It goes down 47 cents to 250. This card sees a ton of standard play. It's in Grohl Adventures, Mono Green Food, and more. Pioneer, it's in Mono Green Planeswalkers, Grill Midrange, and more there. Modern, Heliad Company, Grill Midrange decks in that format as well, plus some other places too. Also see some Legacy play, and in Commander, it's getting additional play now thanks to some cards from Commander Legends. You'll find this in builds around Hamza Guardian of Arashian, AC Tyrant of Gyre Straits, Lathiel the Bounteous Dawn, and more. Number four is Shark Typhoon, and this is still a popular card. It's in a lot of decks, but it is going down this week, 49 cents to 11.93. In standard, it's an Esper Doom Foretold, Demir Rogue, sometimes Demir Control, and more. Pioneer, you'll find this in Wilderness Reclamation, Jeskai Luka, and more there. Also sees Modern, Legacy, and Commander Play. Number three is Lotus Cobra. This is the one from Iconic Masters. It goes down 78 cents to 7.34, and this has been soft ever since the reprinting in Zendikar Rising. Currently, it doesn't see a ton of standard play. It does show up here or there. In Pioneer, though, you'll see this in Four Color Omnith and Naya Winota. Also sees a lot of commander play, especially in lands builds that came out of Zendikar Rising and Commander Legends. Number two is Teferi, Master of Time. This goes down $1.05 to $12.95 as this card continues to lose value. It sees a little standard play sometimes in Jeskai Control, for example, but not a whole lot. Not what people were expecting when this card was released. It has seen Commander play and attracts a Praetor's voice and more, and now it is seeing some increased play in that format around Obeka, Brute Chronologist, and some other new builds from Commander Legends. And number one is Grim Tutor, the copy from Starter 1999. This has been soft ever since the reprinting in Corset 2021, but for a while this card was kind of stuck around the $170 mark. It has dropped a lot over the last two or three weeks. It comes down to $1.92 this week to $128.05 now. And it doesn't see a whole lot of play in Standard or even Pioneer, but it is a tutor, so you know it's going to see a good amount of play in various builds in Commander. That brings us to the top five Standard Legal cards that have gained value this week. Number five is Aghanim's Awakening of 48 cents to 1663. This card continues to see play in a lot of formats in Standard. It's in Demir Control, Demir Rogues, and more. In Pioneer, it's in Oops All Spells, Vampires, and Rakdos Pyromancer. Modern, you'll find it in Oops All Spells there, too. Sometimes Rakdos Death Shadow and other decks in the format also sees Legacy and Commander play. 
Number four is Ketria Triome. These Triomes have been great in multiple formats. This one goes up 65 cents this week to 851. Huge mana base card in standard. You'll find this in Teamer Ramp and much more there. Also sees a lot of play in Pioneer, Modern, and Commander. Number three is Fiery Emancipation. It goes up 83 cents to 11.59, and this has been a popular Commander card ever since it came out. Now it is seeing increased play in some new builds, including Yurlock of Scorch Thrash. Number two is the Great Henge. This is a huge standard card right now. It goes up $1.53 to $30.87. This is in Gruel and Golgari Adventures, Mono Green Foods, Teamer Ramp, and much more in the format. And it sees play outside of standard in a lot of places too. Pioneer, it's in Mono Green Planeswalkers. Plus, it is a big commander card that is now seeing additional play in builds like Hamza, Guardian of Arashian, and much more. And number one is that other copy of Brazen Borrower I mentioned earlier. This is the one from the list, jumping up 565 this week to 3596. And even though this is jumping quite a bit this week, I feel like this card is still overpriced and is due to probably start dropping soon. That brings us to the top seven Pioneer legal cards that have lost value this week. Number seven is Ramanap Excavator. This is the one from Hour of Devastation. It goes down 88 cents to 690. This was reprinted in the Commander Legends Commander deck, Reap the Tides, the one that has AC Tyrant of Gyre Strait as the front facing commander. Ever since that happened, this card has been pretty soft. Now it is still a huge commander card though, seeing increased play even in Omnifocus of Creation, Kodama of the East Tree alongside Togo Goblin Weaponsmith, and more. Outside of Commander, you'll find this in Modern Eladomri's Toolbox decks. Also sees a fair amount of legacy play. Number six is Omnith Locus of the Royal, down 92 cents to 1345. This sees a little modern play in five color elementals, but you don't see that deck as much on MTGO compared to a few weeks ago. It is a fairly popular commander though, and it's also in the very popular Omnith Locus of Creation builds too. Beyond that, it's even seeing increased play in the format with Averna the Chaos Bloom there now. Number five is Darksteel Forge. This is the original copy from Darksteel. It goes down 94 cents to $16, recently reprinted in Double Masters. This does see Commander play in Kozilek, the Great Distortion builds, and much more there. It's also getting a little increased play in Ectechic Salvage Splicer and Rebecca Architect of Ascension builds. Number four is Boros Charm, but this is the one from Commander Legends. Trying to find its price point, it goes down $1.09 this week to $1.99. This is in Burn and Boros Feather. In Modern, you'll find it in Burn decks there too, and it is a highly played commander card in old and new builds. Number three is Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx. This is the one though from the list that goes down $1.11 to $23.79. Again, trying to find its price point a little bit. You'll find this one in Mono Green Planeswalkers and more in Pioneer, and it's a popular card for mono color commander decks. Number two is the Immortal Sun. Overall, this is seeing a little less play than it was seeing a few months ago. It has seen some increased play though in Commander, Belby Corrupted Observer builds, and some other new builds in the format as well. It goes down to $1.15 to $22.29 this week. Number one is Urborg Tomb of Yogmoth, the one from Planar Chaos though, which has been pretty turbulent recently. It goes down to $1.49 this week to $28.99. And this is in Pioneer decks such as Mono Black Aggro, Vampires, Rectos Pyromancer, and more. Also sees Modern and Legacy play, plus it is a highly played Commander card. That takes us to the top eight Pioneer legal cards that have gained value this week. Nylea, God of the Hunt, comes in at number eight, but this is another one from the list, so again, it's trying to find its price point a little bit this week. It goes up a dollar to eight seventeen, and this does see a little commander play, but it did get a mention too in a Tolarian Community College video this week, which could have brought a little more attention to it. Number seven is Twilight Prophet. This goes up a dollar oh two to twenty dollars and seventy six cents, and this is seeing some increased commander play in some new builds, including Belby Corrupted Observer and Lisa Shroud of Dusk. Number six is another card from the list that is Revel in Riches. It goes up a dollar oh six to four dollars and eighty cents. Now this is currently seeing increased commander play because of Commander Legends. Remember there was a big focus on the Pirate Tribe in that set, and within that Pirate Tribe there was a sub theme based around treasure tokens. Aside from pirate builds, this is also seeing increased commander play in other decks too, the least reverent medium, for example. Number five is Aurelia the War Leader. This is the copy, though, from the Guilds of Ravnica Boros Guild Kit. This particular copy can only be found in foil. It goes up $1.16 this week to $18. And in Commander, this has been a fairly popular commander, but most of the time in that format, you're going to find it in Kali of the Vast builds. It is also seeing a little additional play within Commander around some aggressive builds coming out of Commander Legends. Number four is Sword of the Animus. This is the copy from Arch Enemy Nicol Bolas. It goes up 132 to 1252 this week. Solid Commander cards, seeing more play now in some builds based around cards that came out as Endicar Rising as well as Commander Legends. 
things like Akiri Fearless Voyager, Wireless Soul of Steel, Ardent Intrepid Archaeologist, and another partner commander, Rograk, son of Roga. Sometimes you'll find this card in builds with both of those partners, sometimes you'll find it in builds with just one and another partner commander. Number three is Smothering Tithe. This is a huge commander card in white. It goes up $1.53 this week to $30.87. And no surprise, it's seeing increased play with some of the new cards coming from Commander Legends, in particular, again, Arcanum Weaver. Number two is Crucible of Worlds, 10th edition, up $1.45 to $50.99. The Core Set 2019 copy up $1.69 to $43.69. Now, this doesn't see much Pioneer play, but it still does see play in Modern and Vintage, maybe not as much as it saw a few months back, but it still kicks around in those formats. Modern, you'll find it in Tron builds, and Vintage, it's in Golo stacks and more. But the real appeal of this card right now is Commander. This is in Lands builds and much more there. And of course, it has seen increased play since the release of Zendikar Rising and Commander Legends. Also, this did get a Command Zone mention yet again this week. And number one is Shivan Dragon from Revise. This is drying up a little bit online this week, jumping up 309 to 1549. And this doesn't see a lot of Pioneer play or anything, but it does see some Commander play here or there. That's going to bring us to Modern and your top six Modern legal cards that have lost value this week. Coming in at number six is Ball Lightning from the Dark. This spiked recently, so you're just seeing some normalization. It goes down 227 this week to 2554, and this does see a little commander play. Number five is Jace the Mind Sculptor. Of course, recently reprinted in Double Masters. World Weight goes down 216 to 7599. Masters 25 goes down 335 to 5576. It does see play in Modern Uro Omnith, Control Builds, and more. Also gets Legacy Vintage and Commander play. Number four is Rings of Bright Hearth from Lorwyn. This goes down $3.76 to $40.44. Very popular commander card and combo enabler in the format. You'll find this one in Urza Lord High Artificer and much more. But it was reprinted recently in Commander Legends, which is why it is going down. Number three is Training Grounds from the list. Another card from that set trying to find its price point. It goes down $3.89 this week to $41.99. This does see commander play in Kenrith the Return King and much more. Number two is Krark's Thumb. The copy from the list is retracting a little bit this week after some recent spikes. It goes down 447 to 1999. The reason for the initial spike was, of course, the Commander format and a card from Commander Legends, Krark the Thumbless. And number one is another card retracting after some pretty big spikes. This is Cedrus the Trader King down 488 to $21. And the reason for this initial spike was a card from Commander Legends again. This is seeing increased play in the Commander format with Obeka Brute Chronologist. Time for the top five modern legal cards that have gained value this week. Coming in at number five is Mirror Gallery. This goes up 472 to 2896, and this is seeing increased play because of a card from Commander Legends. Surprise, surprise. This time that card is Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. Number four is a Chroma's Memorial. This is the one from the list. It goes up 508 to 3397, but this card is also seeing increased commander play because of a card from Commander Legends. That card is a Chroma Vision of Ixidor, played with various partner commanders. This also shows up in some other new builds based around cards from Commander Legends. Number three is Pariah Shield of 518 to 1025, and I'm going to let you guess why this is going up in value. Yup, you're right, this is seeing increased Commander play because of a card in Commander Legends. The card is Jared Cathalian True Air. Number two is Steel Shaper's Gift. This goes up 530 to 1999. Solid Commander cards seeing more play now because of Commander Legends again. This is in a lot of the same decks we talked about when we were discussing Sword of the Animist. And number one is another card from the list. This one is jumping pretty aggressively, though. Mycosynth Golem. It goes up 1850 to 3769. And this is basically the result of just not many copies being on sale online currently. So I would expect this to trend down very quickly. As for the card itself, though, it is in a lot of Commander Artifact builds. And again, it has seen some increased play because of certain cards coming out of Commander Legends. Those include a series of partner commanders, Rebecca Architect of Ascension, Armix Villagree Thrasher, and Iktekic Salvage Splicer. All right, that's going to take us to the Vintage Spotlight. This is where we talk about cards that see play in Vintage, Legacy 93, 94, or cards that are just popular among collectors. City of Traders is our first card today. It is on the reserve list. It goes up 487 to 184.86. Sees a ton of Legacy play. This is an Omnitel, Carnecos, and more. Gilded Drake on the reserve list up 834 to 23836. This is in Legacy Esper Vile. Also, this is getting some more commander play now in Arami of the Dead Tide builds and more. 
Next, we have Livonia Salone. This is on the reserve list. It jumps up 1147 this week to 9120. Mox Diamond from Stronghold. It's on the reserve list, but it did get one more reprinting as a foil copy in front of the Vault Relics before they closed that loophole on the list. This original copy, though, goes up 1592 to 551 this week. And this does see Legacy play in lands in four color loam. Also sees a good amount of commander play in new and old builds. Island Fish Jaconius. This is the original from Arabian Nights, and even though this has been reprinted and you can find cheaper copies, collectors are very interested in picking up original copies of these cards in good condition. You're going to see more examples of that in this section. This goes up $16.50 to $44.99. In the Eye of Chaos, now this is on the reserve list. It goes up $18.26 this week to $169.99. Aladdin's Lamp, the copy from Arabian Nights. It goes up $18.69 to $67.49. Royal Assassin, the one from Unlimited. It goes up $19 to $79.99. Repentant Blacksmith from Arabian Nights. It goes up $22.80 to $101.50. Grim Monolith. This one's on the reserve list, and you will find this one in Legacy. Many times it's in Mono Green Cloud Post and Eldrazi Stompy. Also sees Commander Play and Kozilek the Great Distortion and much more. Goes up $29.52 this week to $279.99. Sorceress Queen, this is the original from Arabian Nights, up 3381 to 15373. Sylvan Library, the original copy from Legends, up 3511 to 223 this week. Okay, from this point forward in the section, you're going to see some bigger movers. And again, they feel pretty accurate. I'm not seeing that same amount of market manipulation we were seeing a few weeks ago. The variance on these next few cards basically boils down to the fact that there were higher grade copies for sale, and in some cases sold this week. First way of Ring of Maroof, this is on the reserve list. It goes up 59.38 to 152. Taiga from Unlimited on the reserve list. Of course, it did get one more printing and revised. It goes up 61.25 to 462.50. Candelabra of Taunos also on the reserve list, up 116.22 to 921.65. And the Unlimited copy of Gauntlet to Might, this is also on the reserve list. It goes up 151.01 to 648.98. Okay, I know, the whole video is a Commander Spotlight, but humor me, welcome to the Commander Spotlight. There's a lot of cards to talk about, so I'm going to try to go pretty quick here. Relentless Assault, this is the copy though from Portal Second Age, it is drying up a little bit online this week. It goes up at LRO2 to 249. This was actually just reprinted in the Commander Legends Commander deck arm for battle, and it is in some other new Commander builds like Arden Intrepid Archaeologist alongside Rogue Rock, Son of Rogue Gah, and more. Ink Eyes, Servant of Oni. This is the one from Betrayers of Kamigawa. It goes up at LRO2 to 1644. Fairly popular commander. It's also in Yuriko the Tiger Shadow Builds in the format, as well as other places too. Nut Collector. This is a squirrel card. It goes up at LRO3 to 708. And the reason this is moving is because there is a new secret layer called Hope You Like Squirrels. Thousand Year Elixir. Up at LRO4 to 1596. This is the copy from Lorwyn. And there are a lot of new commanders from Commander Legends that have activated abilities that are popular. Cards like Obeka Brew Chronologist, Arami of the Dead Tide, Yurlock of Scorched Thrash, Gwen Arcanum Weaver, and Quain Itinerant Meddler, just to name a few. Titania Protector of Argoth from Commander 2014, up at LRO 4 to 2455. Another card that is getting more commander play because of the emphasis of land strategies in Zendikar Rising and Commander Legends. Doubling Season from Battle Bond. Now, this has been going down in value because it was reprinted in Double Masters. This particular copy bounces back a little this week. It goes up at LRO 5 to 42.75. Highly played commander card. It's in a Tracks of Praetor's Voice builds and much more in the format. Also is seeing some more play now alongside Hamza Guardian of Arashian and Lathiel the Bounteous from Commander Legends. Sylvan Tutor from Portal. You know it's going to see some commander play being a tutor. This goes up at LRO 5 to 75.54 this week. City of Brass from 7th edition up at LRO 6 to $20.93. Huge commander mana base card. Also you'll find this in Modern and Nauseam and Dredge. Also sees playing Legacy Dredge in Dark Depths. Jessica Warrior Adept. This goes up at LRO 9 to 731. And this is getting a little push in Commander due to the new Jessica. Jessica Thrice Reborn. Also this has been seeing more play in Zagreus Thief of Heartbeat stacks. Null Rod. This one's on the reserve list. Up at LRO 10 to 6649. This sees play in Legacy Vintage and Commander. Static Orb from Tempest the Original. It goes up at LRO 11 to 1982. This has seen increased Commander play in Arkelos Lagoon Mystic. Wheel of Fortune from Revised on the reserve list, but it did get one more printing as a Judge Foil again before they closed that loophole. It sees Vintage play, it sees Commander play, and it's going up $1.11 to two thirty twenty six 26 this week. Percentage-wise, not a huge increase, but it could be an indication that maybe this card is ready to move again. 
Time Warp, the copy from Starter 1999, getting a little dry in the online marketplace this week. It goes up at $13 to $16.71. Solid Commander card, also sees some modern play too. Mana Web, this is on the reserve list. It goes up at $13 to $34.99. This is a card you'll find in your lock of Scorched Thrash builds. Winds of Abandon, this is a copy from the list. It goes up at $14 to $4.97. Solid Commander card in white, you'll find this in a lot of different builds there. Also see some modern play. Exquisite Blood up $1.14 to $32. This is the copy from Jumpstart. And this is seeing more Commander play now in Lisa Shroud of Dusk, Your Lack of Scorched Thrash, and more. Overabundance, another card getting additional Commander play because of Your Lack of Scorched Thrash. This goes up $1.15 to $11.88. Painter Servant from Shadowmore. This sees Commander and Legacy play. It goes up $1.16 to $45.69. Extra Planar Lens up $1.18 to $39.47. This is good in Monocolor Commander decks. Also, is good with Snow Covered Basic Lands. And Wizards did release the packaging for Kel Time, which we saw earlier in the video, actually. And that packaging does have a wintry theme. Some players are speculating that snow-covered lands could be making a comeback. Linvala, Keeper of Silence. This is the copy for Modern Masters 2017. It goes up $1.21 to $23.66. You'll find this one often in Kali of the Vast builds and more in the Commander format. Also, it is seeing some play in new builds, too, like Lisa Shroud of Dusk. It also gets a little modern play as well. Cavern of Souls for Modern Masters 2017, also going up $1.21 to $68.59. This was reprinted as a Zendikar Rising Expedition. Since then, the card has been pretty quiet, but this copy is starting to move up a little this week. In Modern, this is all over the place. Eladomri's Toolbox, Samuel Titan, Eldrazi Tron, Humans, Spirits, Merfolk, and more. Sees Legacy play, sees Vintage play, and yup, it sees a lot of Commander play too. And again, it has been seeing more play recently because of new cards like Anno on the Rune Thief, also, the Pirates and Commander Legends have pushed this a little bit too. Plus, it's showing up in other decks from that set, like Abomination of Lanowar. Morphic Pool. All the Battlebound lands got reprinted as Zendikar Expeditions as well. This one goes up $1.24, though, to 2119. They're all great Commander mana base cards. Sarah Sanctum. This is on the reserve list. It goes up $1.24 to $188. This does see more Commander play now in Gen Arcanum Weaver, as well as some other new builds. You'll also find this in Legacy Enchantress. Ristic Study, this is a highly played commander card all over the place. The Mystery Booster copy up $1.11 to $25.88. The Prophecy copy up $1.27 to $24.14. Phyrexian Altar Invasion up $1.09 to $45.89. Ultimate Masters up $1.27 to $42.35. Solid Commander card and Combo Enabler, seeing more play in the Veneral Urborg Tyrant, the Least Reverent Medium, and other new builds. Imp's Mischief, this goes up $1.32 to $15.27. Solid Commander card, again, in a lot of different decks. Sliver Legion from Future Sight up $1.32 to $95.13. This card has been quiet for a while, but it is slowly creeping back to the $100 mark. Sliver Commander builds continue to be popular. Prosperity from Portal dries up a little online this week. It goes up $1.33 to $4.01. And this is seeing more Commander play in Quain Itinerant Meddler builds. Martyr's Cry. This sees a little Commander play, but it is on the reserve list, and that is really the reason it's moving this much right now. It goes up $1.36 to $14.94 this week. And players are continuing to prioritize some of these reserve list cards. We've seen that happening over a number of weeks now. You will see more of it in this section. In particular, a lot of the cards from the dark have been moving quite a bit recently. Now, the reason for that is we have seen a lot of price spikes. Sometimes it was because of targeted buyouts. Other times it was just because the cards started to naturally dry up in the marketplace online. But regardless, a lot of players are jumping on these cards now because they want to pick them up before there's another price spike. Skyline Despot, this is getting a push from new Commander Legends Monarch cards. It's seeing the most play right now in Jared Carthalian True Air builds. It goes up $1.37 to $7.92 this week. Luxury Suite, this goes up $1.37 to $16.48. Teferi's Protection from Commander 2017, getting a reprint in the Extra Life 2020 Secret Layer, but this copy still going up $1.37 to $39.19. Very popular Commander card in white. Sword of Feast and Famine, this is the one from Double Masters, going up $1.42 to $44.99. Solid Commander card, and it is seeing more play in a lot of the same builds we discussed when we were talking about Sword of Animus. Additionally, though, this does see modern and legacy play. Tectonic Instability, another card moving because of your lack of Scorched Thrash builds. This goes up $1.44 to $10.50. Deranged Hermit, it is on the reserve list, but again, there was a Judge Foil printed before they closed that loophole. This copy goes up $1.45 to $26.70. And it is moving because of the Hope You Like Squirrel Secret Layer. Lightning Bolt, the copy from the list, goes up $1.51 to $23.50 this week. Highly played card in Modern Legacy Vintage and Commander. 
Giver of Runes, this has seen increased commander play in Jared Carthalian True Air builds, for example, but it is also a popular modern card. You'll find this in Heliod Company, Death and Taxes, and more. It goes up at $1.54 this week to $8.71. Mana Crypt, this is the Mystery Booster copy, also reprinted recently in Double Masters. This one goes up at $1.59 to $92.76. Great vintage card and great commander card. Phyrexian Tower, Urza Saga up at $1.38 to $28.99. The copy from the list goes up at $1.65 to $19.97. This sees a lot of commander play and a little legacy play. Ulamog, the Infinite Gyre from Ultimate Masters, it goes up at $1.65 to $44.99. And you'll find this one in Commander Kozilek, The Great Distortion builds and more. And it is seeing some increased play now in Belby Corrupted Observer decks. Grave Pack, the 10th edition copy up $1.27 to $22.24. Plane Chase goes up $1.67 to $22. And this is seeing more Commander play because of Commander Legends cards, The Least Reverent Medium, and Jury Master of the Review. But this is also getting a push from Negan the Cold-Blooded from The Walking Dead Secret Lair. Platinum Empyrean. This goes up $1.68 to $13.43, and this is the copy from Scars of Meriden. Another card you'll find in Kozilek, the Great Distortion builds, which have been pretty popular. Also seeing increased play because of some cards from Commander Legends again. Iktekic Salvage Spicer, along with Rebecca Architect of Ascension, as well as some other cards from the set too. It does get a little modern play additionally as well. Crater Hoof Behemoth, the one from Modern Masters 2017, up $1.68 to $44.99. This has seen increased commander play in Abomination of Llanowar and more. Also, too, this gets play in Legacy Elves, and it did get a Command Zone mention as well as a Telerian Community College mention this week. Blaze Steel Colossus, the one from Double Masters, up $1.70 to $31.99. Another very popular commander card that you'll find in a lot of different builds. Also see some vintage play. Demonic Tutor, great vintage card, great commander card. The Dual Dex Anthology copy up $1.10 to $41.50. The Mystery Booster copy up $1.55 to $37.95, and the Revised copy goes up $1.71 to $39.45. Opalescence on the reserve list up $1.72 to $19.92, seeing some more play with Gen Arcanum Weaver now. Deflecting Swat, this whole cycle is awesome in Commander. This one goes up $1.78 to $20.99. Metal Worker on the reserve list up $1.82 to $107.05, good in Kozilek, the Great Distortion builds, and more. Frankenstein's Monster, here's one of those cards from the dark on the reserve list. Sure, it sees a little commander play, but really moving because of its status on that list. It goes up $1.85 to $17.96. Retrofitter Foundry from Commander 2018, it goes up $1.88 to $16.81. And this does see some commander play, but maybe it's a little more known as a Legacy Ninjas card. The Zuvan Doppelganger from Revised that is on the reserve list, and it is seeing some more commander play with Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. It goes up $1.89 to $18.43. Time Spiral on the reserve list. It goes up $1.91 to $109.99. Sees a fair amount of commander play. Awakening. This is the copy from the list. It goes up $1.94 to $13.75. And this is another card seeing more play in your lock of Scorched Thrash builds. Oriac Champion, the one from Iconic Masters. It goes up $1.98 to $18.69. This is a big modern card. You'll find it in Heliod Company, Humans, and more. It's also seen increased commander play, though, in Aura Skyclave Hierophant builds. It is a cleric. And there have been some players picking it up for Mono White Humans decks because of Rick's Steadfast Leader from The Walking Dead Secret Lair. Plus, like most of the cards we've been talking about today, this is getting a push from Commander Legends cards too. Lathael, The Bounteous Dawn, and Lisa, Shroud of Dusk. Phantasmal Image, this is another card seeing increased commander play because of Sakashima of a Thousand Faces and some other new cards in Commander Legends. Also gets play in Modern Humans. Modern Masters 2017 goes up $1.34 to $11.38. The Magic 2012 copy up $2 to $10.92. Lotus Bloom from the list. This sees a fair amount of Commander play. Also does see play in Modern Ad Nauseam. It goes up $207 to $10.19. Mana Vault, great vintage card, great Commander card. 5th edition up $1.38 to $49.57. Ultimate Masters up $1.72 to $75.90. 4th edition up $213 to $47.41. Force of Negation, you might know this as a modern, legacy, or even vintage card, but it has been seeing more commander play, especially in competitive builds. It goes up $225 this week to $49.95. Enlightened Tutor, the copy from Eternal Masters. This was recently reprinted in the list, but this one goes up $226 to $49.95. Highly played commander card, and sure, it is getting a push from some new cards from Commander Legends, Gen Arcanum Weaver, Arden Intrepid Archaeologist, and more. Jester's Cat from Ice Age does see a little commander play, but this original copy has been drying up quite a bit online recently. This goes up $235 this week to 1011. 
Eternal Flame, it's on the reserve list. It's from the dark. It sees a little bit of playing commander, but again, moving because it is a reserve list card. It goes up 239 to 807. Sword of Kaldra, this goes up 249 to 1293. Another card moving because of all the same reasons that Sword of the Animist was moving. Pact of Negation, this has seen increased play in Obeka Brute Chronologist. Also sees play in other commander builds and also gets a lot of modern and some legacy play too. Masters 25 goes up $1.09 to 3149. Modern Masters up $1.31 to 3107. The copy from the list up 251 to 3624. Kozilek Butcher of Truth and those Kozilek the Great Distortion builds also seeing increased play now in Belby Corrupted Observer decks. Additionally, this is in Modern Tron and more in Legacy Mono Green Cloud Post. Ultimate Masters up 222 to 5799. Modern Masters 2015 up 251 to 5825. Bitter Blossom for Modern Masters 2015. This has seen increased commander play in Anawan the Rune Thief. Now it's seeing more play in Thalese Reverent Medium and some other new builds. In modern, you'll find this in Orzov Stoneblade, sees a little legacy play too. It goes up 255 this week to 3811. Force of Will, great legacy card, great vintage card, great commander card. The Double Masters copy up 224 this week to 89.99. The Eternal Masters copy up 259 to $95. Vesuva, the original from Time Spiral up 266 to 3422. This was reprinted in the list, but this copy still climbing this week. Sees a good amount of commander play. Also in Modern, you'll find this in Amulet Titan, Aladomri's Toolbox, and more. Legacy, it's in Mono Green Cloud Post, and more there. Bloodforge Battleaxe, this is another card moving for the same reasons that Sword of the Animist was moving. This goes up 271 this week to $15. Personal Tutor, this goes up 271 to $49.94. Getting harder and harder to find in good condition, and it is a tutor, so you know it's going to get some commander play. Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. This is one of the cards from Commander Legends that I think was underestimated during the pre-release time period. Most of the cards from that set are going down in value as packs are getting cracked. This one, though, is moving up. It goes up $272 to $25. Unholy Grotto up $274 to $1924. This is in a lot of Commander Zombie builds, and it has seen more play now in new builds like Navineral Urborg Tyrant. Champion's Helm from Commander up $281 to $2418. And this is another card moving because of a lot of the same reasons Sword of the Animist was moving. But additionally, this does see play in other builds too, like Jared Carthalian True Air. Flagstones of Trocare, the one from Time Spiral, up 287 to 2375. This sees modern play in Eladomri's Toolbox and Jeskai Control. Also sees some legacy and vintage play, and of course it's in a number of commander builds as well. Sundial of the Infinite, seeing increased play because of Obeka Brute Chronologist as well as Arami of the Dead Tide. The Magic 2012 copy goes up 254 to 685. The Mystery Booster Retail Edition, which is only found in foil, it goes up 289 to 844. Citadel of Pain up 294 this week to 750. This is seeing increased play in your lock of Scorch Flash builds. Ren and Six, the original one for Modern Horizons, up 299 to 6299. And this, of course, is seeing more play in lands builds that have been pushed because of Zendikar Rising and Commander Legends. Also, though, in Modern, you'll find this in Uro Omnith, Jun Builds, Teamer Uro, and more. Also gets Vintage play as well. Dose in the Falling Leaf, another card pushed by your lack of Scorch Thrash. This goes up 303 to 1243. Replenish on the Reserve List, getting more Commander play in Gen Arcanum Weaver Builds. It goes up 318 to 9378. Land Tax, this was reprinted in the list as well as Double Masters, but this Battle Bond version still going up 331 this week to $30.90. Huge commander card for white, especially good in Gen Arcanum Weaver builds. Stone Calendar. It sees a little commander play, I suppose, here or there. It's on the reserve list. It's from the dark. It's going up 347 this week to 2769. Dockside Extortionist. This is an extremely popular commander card, and it's a good combo enabler in the format. And as you might guess, it is getting a push from cards from Commander Legends. Obeka Brute Chronologist is one. Also, those pirates that have the treasure token sub theme that are in the set. On top of that, it got a command zone mention too this week. It goes up 353 to 3798. Oboro, Palace in the Clouds, it goes up 355 to 5429 this week. And this is another card that does see modern play and like is a control, mill, mono blue, tron, and more. But it has been getting increased play in Commander recently too because of Omnith Locus of Creation, AC Tyrant of Gyre Straits, and other decks too. Earthcraft, seeing a little more Commander play in Arkelos Lagoon Mystic builds also on the reserve list. It goes up 362 this week to 104.74. Stitch in time, this is getting a push from Crark the Thumbless. Guild pack goes up $1.37 to $7. 
and the copy from the Guilds of Ravnica is a guild kit goes up 375 to 966. Here's the payoff, Archfiend of Despair it does combo with Scourge of the Skyclaves, which we saw earlier. This also does see some increased commander play in your lack of Scorch Thrash. It goes up 419 this week to 2599. Hull Breacher, another Commander Legends card moving up, it goes up 425 to 2720. And this is already seeing a lot of commander play in various builds, new and old. But the main reason it's going up this much right now is it turns out that this is a good Legacy and Vintage card. In Legacy, it's already showing up in Esper Vile, Snow Miracles, Karn Echoes, and more, and it is seeing a fair amount of early Vintage play too. Legion of the Hollows, another card on the reserve list, and another card moving because of the secret layer. We hope you like squirrels. This goes up 446 to 1242. Fork from Revised on the reserve list that does see some commander play. It jumps up 536 this week to 3880. Temporal Manipulation, this was reprinted in the list. It does see a fair amount of commander play, but really this copy of the card from Portal Second Age is jumping up because it is drying up in the secondary market online. It goes up 585 this week to $50.40. Exorcist, sure this does see a little commander play, but again moving because it is a reserve list card and it happens to be from the dark as well. It goes up 660 to 1908. Mana Drain, huge commander card. The copy from Commander Legends goes up 401 to 6399. The Iconic Masters copy up 714 to 9999. Scroll Rack, great commander card in general, especially good though in the Yuriko the Tiger Shadow builds. The Commander Legends copy up 618 to 3699. The copy from the list up 774 to 7201. Creature on the reserve list, it's also from the dark. It goes up 781 to 8677. This was the target of a buyout not too long ago, and then the card did start to stabilize. Now it is jumping up again. Maybe some players have decided they just want to pick it up before it goes up in price again. Or maybe this is the beginning of a secondary buyout. There is logic behind this buyout though. There are reasons you might actually want to play this card. In Commander, this is a Cleric, so you could put this in Aura Skyclave Hierophant builds. And also it is a Mono White Human with a unique ability. Some players might want this for their Rick's Steadfast Leader decks. Final Fortune, this card is jumping, and of course it is because of a new Commander Legends card, Obeka Brute Chronologist. The 6th edition copy up 851 to 3350. The Mirage copy up 907 to $44. The 7th edition copy up 1749 to 4998. Goblin Wizard, now this one feels like it could be a targeted buyout. This is just taking off. It is on the reserve list, it is from the dark. It does see a little Commander play though in Goblin builds. It goes up 1997 to 8995. Last Chance from Portal, initially again moving because of Obeka Brute Chronologist, but there are some unusual things happening this week with this card. First off, the Starter 1999 card also got very expensive, but is already starting to drop. This one is really jumping up, 94.45 to 195.75. This could be the target of a buyout potentially, or it could just be a situation where the online market doesn't have a lot of copies of this black bordered version of the card in good condition. All right, that takes us to the premium spotlight. And speaking of not having a lot of copies online, I don't like to spend too much time talking about these rare promos or foils because if you don't have a lot of sales in any given week, you can get some pretty bad data at times and sometimes that data can be manipulated. However, every week I like to pick out a few cards that feel like they're moving mostly naturally with the market to highlight. This week I chose five. They're all cards we talked about earlier in the video. The first is Citadel of Pain. The foil from Prophecy goes up $12 to $29.99. The next one is Force of Negation from Modern Horizons. That foil goes up $16.10 to $216.49 this week. Giver of Ruins, also from Modern Horizons. That foil is up $19.41 to $49.99. The foil copy of Nut Collector from Odyssey up $20.75 to $42.50. And finally, the Tectonic Instability foil from Invasion goes up $43.31 to $64.99. All right, that does it for this episode of the Market Watch. Hey, if you stuck with me all this time, I appreciate it. This was another really long one. I expect them to maybe start to get shorter next week. We'll have to see what happens. But I did notice over the last 48 hours or so, cards have been stabilizing a little bit, maybe coming off some of the big purchases of the previous week. Until next time, though, hey, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.